In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed your TikTok videos on your Elementor website in beautiful feeds like this. To do that, we'll be using the Smash Balloon TikTok Feed Pro plugin. It allows us to create fast and responsive TikTok feeds in just minutes with no coding or design skills needed. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download TikTok Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now, inside your dashboard, on the left-hand side, hover over Plugins and click Add New Plugin. Then, go click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for TikTok Feed Pro, just like this, and click Install Now. Once installed, click on Activate Plugin. And there we go, TikTok Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. To begin creating your TikTok feed, on the left-hand side, you'll now notice TikTok Feeds. Click on that. This will take you inside the plugin, and at the top, you can see the text box where you can enter your license key. Paste it here like this, and click Activate. Now that our license key has been activated, we can begin creating our first TikTok feed. At the top, go click on Add New. Next, we'll have to add a source for our TikTok feed. To do that, click on Add Source, then click Connect with TikTok. This will take you into TikTok, and if you're already logged in, you should see the account you're logged into at the top. And if this is the account you want to display inside your TikTok feed, click on Authorize down at the bottom. Otherwise, if you want to log into a different account, click Switch Account at the top. I'm going to go click on Authorize, and then you'll get this pop-up here asking you to confirm if this is your domain. I'm going to click Yes, it's my domain. After that, you'll be brought back to the plugin and inside you should see that TikTok account that you've just connected. Now you can select it like this to add it as a source, then click Next. And for our final step, we'll have to select from one of these templates for the appearance and layout of our TikTok feed. We have options like the default, cards, list, latest video, carousel, and showcase carousel. All of these options allow you to create beautiful TikTok feeds with no design skills needed. For this video, I'm going to stick with the default template and click Next. And in just a few minutes, we have a live preview of our brand new TikTok feed. It's currently displaying all the latest TikTok videos from the account we connected with the plugin. It's now ready to be embedded on your Elementor webpage, but before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, go into Layout. Inside, you'll find several options to modify the layout of your feed. Currently, you can see that we have the grid layout selected, which displays your videos in rows and columns. Next, we have the list layout, which showcases your videos in a single column list. Third, we have the masonry layout, which is similar to the grid layout, but with the posts and captions in the original sizes. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which allows site visitors to swipe through your TikTok feed by clicking on the buttons below. But for this video, I'm going to stick with the grid layout. And if you scroll down, you'll also have options to modify the number of posts on your feed. You can see currently it's set to 10 posts, but if you wanted to change that, all you have to do is type in the number of posts you want to display. For example, if I want to display two posts, I'll change it to two. And you can see that change made instantly inside the live preview. I'm going to change it to nine. And at the bottom, you can also modify the number of columns you want to display inside your feed on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Currently, we have three columns inside our feed, but if you wanted to change that, you can simply adjust the number of columns you want to display like this. Now your feed will display four columns instead of three. I'll swap it back to three. And if you're happy with the layout of your TikTok feed, go click save on the top right corner. At the top of your TikTok feed, you'll notice we have a header. The header features your profile picture, account name, your account handle, your bio, the number of accounts you're following, the number of followers you have, and the number of likes you have on your account. And on the right hand side, you also have follow on TikTok button. If you want to modify the header of your TikTok feed, on the left hand side under the customize tab, go into header. At the top of this menu, you can see we have an option to enable or disable the header. If I toggle that off, you'll notice that the header is now hidden on your feed. I'll bring that back. And underneath that, you can see all the different elements inside the header that I previously mentioned. Each of these are fully customizable too. You can choose to hide or show them if you'd like to. For example, if I wanted to hide the profile picture, I can simply uncheck it like this. And the profile picture will then be hidden from your feed. I'm going to bring that back. And you can do the same with the name, username, and any of the other elements on your header. And if you made any changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. And if you want to customize what elements are displayed alongside your TikTok videos on your feed, under the customize tab, go click on TikToks. Next, click on edit individual elements. Inside this menu, you can customize the different elements that appear alongside your videos. For example, you have the author and info, video thumbnail, play icon, views, likes, and the caption below as well. All these elements can be hidden or shown depending on your preference. For example, if I wanted to hide the video thumbnail, you can uncheck it like this, and that will hide all your TikTok video thumbnails on your feed. And you can do the same with the play icon, the views, likes, and even the caption. But for this video, I'm going to keep them all enabled, apart from the author info at the top. And if you made any changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want options to moderate the content displayed inside your TikTok feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters. Inside this menu, you can enter words as filters to hide or show videos containing those words. And if I go back into settings and click on sort, you'll find options to sort the videos inside your feed based on options like recent first, oldest first, most views, and most likes. And at the bottom, you can also toggle this option here to randomize the videos displayed inside your feed. This way, each site visitor will see a random assortment of videos inside your TikTok feed. I'm going to disable that 
With the plugins filtering and sorting options, you have complete control over the TikTok videos you display inside your feed. And if you made any changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your TikTok feed, let me show you how to embed it on your Elementor webpage. To do that, go click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click add. And here we are on our Elementor webpage. And if I scroll down, this is where we'll add our new TikTok feed. To embed our new TikTok feed inside our Elementor webpage, first we have to add a shortcode element. So go ahead and search for shortcode. And here's the one we want. So we can simply drag it and place it here. And on the left hand side, we can go ahead and paste that shortcode that we copied earlier, just like this. Now we can click on update and check out what it looks like on the live webpage. Finally, we're on our live Elementor webpage. And if I scroll down to the bottom, under our latest TikToks, we have our brand new TikTok feed that we just created. All the latest videos from our TikTok account are displayed inside this feed in the template that we selected. And if a site visitor wanted to watch one of these videos, they can simply click on it like this, and that video will automatically start playing so your site visitors can watch your videos directly on your Elementor website. And at the top of your feed, you'll also find a follow on TikTok button. If you click on that, that will take you directly to your TikTok profile. So you now know how to create and customize a beautiful TikTok feed and embed it on your Elementor website. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any technical issues, please contact your awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.